This Saturday, November 15th, the Caribbean Baptist Missionary Society, along with the Bread of the World Ministries, will be hosting an auction benefiting the needy in Haiti. Michael Manier, a longtime CBMS member, tells us about the art and the auction. We brought them in just as canvases and uh, we uh, put them in our suitcases and a uh, mission team that went to Haiti in July, they came back with uh, artwork in their suitcases and uh, had no problem with what we were doing. And uh, when we got it here, then we proceeded to do what we're doing now is stretching the artwork, stretching the canvases and building these stretcher frames for them. Just make sure you don't staple your fingers. We have uh, oil paintings or acrylic paintings and uh, of different scenes of people and, uh, and uh, scenes of Haiti. We have wood, wood crafts, uh, bowls, uh, little signs, picture frames made by the Haitian artists. We need a sheet on the table. Right. Randy Washburn, another CBMS member, describes the art and the artists. We've got 10 artists we're going to put in the auction that we've been trying to find information on. Uh, most of the artists we found uh, a little bit of information on. They're not a, greatly well known, but they are on the internet. For example, this uh, Mr. Alibi, uh, Robert Alibi. He is a well-known artist in Haiti. He's got actually pictures that are presented on some books there in Haiti. So this is a really nice find. Some of the artists we really don't know much about. We're trying to get information on them, such as Pierre's beautiful paintings that we have them here. We have one, three actually from Gilbert uh, Detaille. He is basically does artwork such with animals, as you see here. And this is just a beautiful piece. We've got three of his pieces here. He is well known. He's on the internet. You can find him and his paintings go for anywhere between 150 and up. And we also have other artists, for example, Junior. We don't know much about him, but his paintings are just gorgeous. We're trying to find some information about each one of these. We also know a lot about Paul. He is well known on the internet. You can see paintings from Paul everywhere on HaitianArt.com and several other places. And one of his paintings we found online runs for around $650 for the same price we're going to be showing and, and starting our auctions at $150. Yeah. So it's a great bargain there. Don Fouzer is with the Bread of the World Ministries. He has a very personal message for being involved with this auction. Okay. And my mom, and the reason I'm doing that, because my mom, my mom died during the earthquake. She was living in USA, but she went back to Haiti uh, for a little vacation. She did not come back. But let me tell you something. My mom didn't know how to read. But she said to herself, my kids, they will, they will go to school. They will get an education. So fortunately, we went to school. We got our education. But let me tell you what my mom did when she came to this country. She will ask all of her kids to send money. And she will collect that money and send that money back to Haiti in order to send kids to school. And it's because of that. And then CBMS, CBMS understood that. They decided to name all of the school after my mom. Out of Mr. Fouzer's mother's tragic death in Haiti, some blessings have occurred. So we were introduced to Don Fouzer and uh, a couple of other Haitians. And uh, Don and I struck up a relationship and we started talking. And that relationship has developed into us working with the Bread of the World Ministries. They are a group in Haiti that are young professionals. That they don't need support for themselves, but they need support for the work in Haiti. We, they, have, they form a committee down there and everything is done through that committee. All the pastors answer to that committee. committee. If we have any problems, Don handles it. He's up here, he's a school teacher up here, and uh, he gets the committee involved down there and they take care of any problems. And uh, it really works great this way because we were actually working with a man that lives here that is a Haitian, that he knows American culture, he also knows the Haitian culture. And it's hard to, to work like that if you're uh, American and you go down there. We worked, like I said, 14, 15 years, and there's, there's language barriers, there's 
barriers on the uh, culture that you're not used to. Things you do up here is not is taboo down there. But anyway, after meeting Don and, and working with him, we made a trip down there and we saw what he had. That's what we are doing. And we are trying to live that dream. A lady who did not know how to read, but understood the importance of education. She find a way to get money any, anyhow to send kids to school. And we are trying to prolong that legacy so more kids can go to school in Haiti.